His second question was about a preacher by the name of Imran Hussein. And I personally don't like to criticize people. And it's, I don't think it's befitting to every time someone comes and asks, what do you think of this da'i? What do you think of that scholar? This is not the way of the Prophet ﷺ. The way of the Prophet ﷺ is not to speak and address the people of innovation. Rather, he would come to the pulpit, and when he had an issue to address, he would say, why do so-and-so people, without naming them, say such things or do such things? So the masses learn that this is wrong without knowing who it is that did this. So this saves face to the people who committed that wrong action out of their ishtihad, and at the same time makes the focus on what's right and what's wrong. Unfortunately, nowadays with the social media, with the YouTube, with the internet, sometimes it is important to point out the things that are wrong when people are misguided by some people who are not doing a good job. And Sheikh Imran Hussein is a very eloquent person. He speaks beautiful English, and the way he speaks is magnificent. He's an old uh, gentleman, but he focuses on the signs of Qiyamah, focuses on Dajjal, focuses on Gog and Magog, Ya'juj and Ma'juj, and focuses on the things that will come from the world of the unseen. Yet most of his preaching is bogus and not according to the Sunnah. He is not speaking according to Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, Aqeedah. His Aqeedah is not that solid. And he has serious and grave mistakes. And it is important to warn people to follow the trustworthy scholars of Islam, people who are known in Islam, and not to follow storytellers. Yani for example, all the hadith about the Dajjal is well known. When he comes and says the Dajjal is already out, <laughs> where is he? We know that of a one man, uh, uh, one eyed man. He says, no, 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 this is TV. This is modern technology. This is civilization. And he starts to talk about things in the UK and the North Sea. And all of this is nonsense. Where, where is it coming from? No, no Quran and no Sunnah. Yet he is a wonderful storyteller, but definitely would corrupt your Aqeedah in no time. So it's a red zone. It's something that is toxic and people must not watch that and Allah Azza wa knows best.